We're in the office here today in the, uh, in the lab at Diverse Dimensions, and today we're going to go through surface points, or how to measure surface points. And then I've got another module that's going to show how we're going to take those surface points and align them to the CAD model and do an iterative alignment. So be sure you check that one out as well. I've got a module that will describe how to prepare this model um, and get it ready for the, uh, for the measurement session. But today I just want to show you how to take surface points. We use surface points a ton. They're a very versatile point, and specifically we use them when we know that we're going to, uh, going to align this part to a CAD model. So uh, I've got 4.0 open today, so I've got an SAT file up. So what I did want to show you first, though, is I've got a PDF here that will show the datum structure that is on my, on my part. And notice that I've got three A points on this surface patch right here. So when I look at the part, those three points will lie right up on this surface patch here. And then what I've got is B. I've got two points that will define B. The first one is going to be in this little tab area here, which shows up right underneath here. And then B2 actually shows up underneath the tab right here on this flange. So I've got two surfaces there. And then it looks like my C datum is a single point contact right on this trim edge here. So what I'd like to do is capture all of that geometry with surface points and then at a later time show you guys how we can align that to the surface model. So come on into the SAT file here with me. I'll fire that up. Here's my part. I've got the model already prepared. I'll show you in my review features here. I've got some surfaces that are already out there. If I hit the view, you notice that they will turn red. So right here is that front face that's known as A. And then I've got this small tab here known as B, B1. And then I've got B2 right here. And then I've got C right back here. That's this flange. So then I'll right mouse key to get back to review features and say OK. Now the way I'm going to track my surface points is I'm going to go right to the measure pull down menu and go to point and way at the bottom, surface point. One thing I did want to note here, though, notice that this line right here, the line between planar point and home end point, that is specifying that all options underneath that line are useful for CAD models. So that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to play with a surface point. Now, what a surface point does is it takes three clicks in a small little triangular patch, and what it does is it determines the surface vector uh, from those three, or a plane vector, that would be normal to those three points and then it compensates relative or normal to that. And then what I'll do is I'll grab the arm, and I'm going to come into the area that is close to that A1 datum. I don't have a specific X, Y, and Z component for this, for this A1, but I know it's in this area here. So I'm going to come in with three clicks of the green button in a small little triangular path, and then I compensate away. I never want to cross my geometry with those clicks. So what it does is uh, CAM2 will go out, it'll form a plane with those three points, and that plane has got a vector, and it compensated for that point normal to that vector. And then my point will lie someplace between those three, those three pokes. So now notice in my SAT file then, Farrell went out and it solved for that point. It's calling it surface point one, and it's, uh, it's a surface point, a measured surface point here with the number of points that it took was three. Now, since I've got my model prepared already, I could go out to this Nominals tab and then pick from these surface uh, patches here, but I do want to show that in a different module. So what I'll do is just stay with the Report tab, and I'll call this Datum A1. Now, again, I love to name the points based on their geometry or based on their location or based on their datum reference. I always give it a name. I like to see that. So I'll say OK there. And what I'll do is I'll zoom out, out, out. Now, notice right up here by my trihedron, there's a point in space that's quite a ways away from that part. Well, that's okay. I'm measuring close to my arm, which is this origin here. So I'll just keep zooming in on this part here. And then it's ready for me to take another surface point. So again with the arm, I'm going to come up here to this area here, which is surface point for datum A2. Again, three points or three clicks in a small triangle, and then I compensate away. And then I'll give that the name datum A2. 
And again, CAM2 is just going to assume that I'm just going to keep taking these surface points until I hit the escape and get out of surface points. So here's number three. It's down in this area here. And there's the third point, datum A3. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and I'm going to shoot this B1 I'm going to shoot B2 over here, and then I'm going to shoot this, this trim edge point, which would be C. And then what I'm going to do is put that into the alignment using an iterative. So stick around for that module too. But just a great example of how we're shooting surface points. And don't forget, you're shooting three points in a small triangle just to capture that surface. Because none of the geometry on this bracket is square to any of the grid or square to an X, Y, or Z component. So it doesn't make sense to put a... a uh, comp axis point on here. I, I can't, I'm not square to any of the axes. So surface point, we use those a ton with, even if we're not going to align this to a CAD model, just a very, very versatile point. Okay.